Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera kepada hadirin sekalian. Ya saya bersetuju untuk mengadakan satu pertemuan untuk menjelaskan pendirian bukan saja pendirian saya tapi pendirian ramai daripada manusia di seluruh dunia. Apa yang kita lihat sekarang ini ialah kelainan pendirian antara pemerintah ataupun government dengan rakyat. Rakyat sedar tentang kezaliman yang sedang berlaku. Tetapi kerajaan mempunyai dasar seolah-olah ini bukanlah satu kezaliman. Bahkan untuk menyelamatkan satu bangsa Apa yang berlaku sekarang ini Luar biasa Ya di zaman-zaman dulu Memang pun satu daripada cara Untuk menawan Musuh ialah Dengan mengadakan siege Ada bandar-bandar Dahulu Apabila dia nya uh, Diserang bandar itu Maka musuh akan Mengelili bandar itu Dan Sekat segala bekalan bagi bandar itu Sehinggalah penduduk dalam bandar itu terpaksa makan tikus umpamanya Kerana sudah tidak ada makanan, tidak ada bekalan air dan sebagainya Itu di zaman dulu Di zaman yang kita anggap kita kurang bertamadun Uncivilized But now we are, we claim that we are civilized people and we feel that certain things that were done in the past should not be done now. Unfortunately, we are seeing the practice of the past coming back to in, in wars between nations. Uh, we realize, of course, that during the Nazi regime of Germany. The Germans, the Nazi Germans wanted to kill all the Jews as a final solution. Their solution to the Jewish problem was to kill all of them. And they, that they carried this out. In the end, of course, they managed to kill about seven, six million people. They would have killed a, little, a lot more if the rest of the world did not uh, take action. The rest of the world consists of the Western Alliance and also Russia. They combined, they worked together to defeat Germany and put a stop, a stop to the Holocaust. So the Jews were saved. And I think when the Jews were saved, they should understand the pain and the sufferings of those people who are oppressed by uh, agencies that were tasked to oppress them. The government at the German government at that under Hitler was tasked to oppress the Jews. But that was in 1939 onwards. But as you know, the Allies won the war and put a stop to the genocide threat which was uh, carried out by the German Nazis. We believe that we have learned a lesson, that this is not the way to treat fellow humans. But today we are seeing what has happened to the Jews during the Nazi regime is applied by the Jews against the Palestinians. There is no doubt that uh, the regime, Israeli regime, led by Netanyahu, aims to get rid of all Palestinians. He doesn't say so in many words, in so many words, but it is quite obvious that he would like to continue the killings until there are no more Palestinians in this world. This is what Netanyahu wants to do. And so we see them killing 
not just adults, not just soldiers, but civilians, men, women, children, even babies in the incubators are deprived of oxygen so that they will not survive and grow up, according to the Jews, to become members of Hamas. This has never happened in modern times. The Jews are doing this. But what is uh, painful, what is uh, unacceptable is that there are governments, strong governments, we seem to be supporting the Jews in their genocidal campaign. And that government is led, unfortunately, by so-called democratic, civilized nation called America, the United States of America. The United States of America, together with the Europeans, created the, the country called Israel. And since then, Israel could do anything, even break international laws, and still the Americans and the Europeans would support Israel. But this time, the crime committed by Israel is uh, totally inhuman. What they want to do is to cut off all supplies of food, medicine and water to the people of Gaza. It is quite possible to do that. And if that goes on, 1.2 million, 1.6 million Gazans would die because they have no water. You can't survive for, without water for very many days. You will have no food and you will have no medicine. That is the intention of Israel. But of course, uh, the, the process is uh, taking a long time. The, what they do is uh, but not only must they cut off supplies to Gaza, but they must kill the people there by rockets and bombs and the like, including bombing the hospitals, the schools, uh, even places where people seek to safety. Uh, for safety, they were uh, bombarded with bombs and rockets. So, not only are they trying to cut off supplies to Gaza, but they are also going to kill the people of Gaza. At this moment, they have killed nearly 12,000 people, 4,000 of whom were children. And this is what the Israelis are doing. But what is different from 1939 is that in 1939, when the world observed the Nazis trying to kill or commit genocide against the Jews, the world went to war against uh, Germany. But here, nobody is fighting for the people of Gaza. In fact, the Israelis have spread the, the fight even to the uh, other parts of uh, uh, the Palestinian land. So the intention of Netanyahu is to kill all the Palestinians. That is his final solution. But the world permits this. The world has done nothing to stop this. We don't even supply food or try to send in as in the case of Bosnia, we were allowed to send peacekeepers, but no peacekeepers are being sent to Gaza to provide security for the Gaza. So the Gazans are now exposed to being killed by the Zionists, by the Israelis, as if this is, uh, well, a normal thing to exterminate people just like you exterminate uh, some animals, uh, noxious animals, they are going to exterminate the uh, Palestinians. And this is something that others 
if not the United States or, or Europe, others must do something to put a stop to this criminal act by the Zionists. That is why I think people should understand what is happening in Gaza and the uh, other places in Palestine where the Palestinians are seeking refuge. Even refuge camps are bombarded by the Israelis. So I hope that with more knowledge we can think of something we can do and I think there are things that we can do to, if not uh, prevent Israelis from killing the Palestinians, at least to lessen the burden of the Palestinians. The cause is that uh, the Palestinians can seek refuge in the countries surrounding Gaza. Unfortunately, Apparently, there are countries around, uh, around Gaza which do not want to accept refugees coming from Gaza. I think that is uh, quite uh, unfair and inhuman. As you know, in Malaysia, we have received a lot of refugees, including lately the Rohingyas. It's not that we are going to fight against Burma, but at least we could give some kind of relief to the people trying to escape, escape from oppression. And I hope the countries surrounding Gaza, yeah, including Egypt and Rafa, for example, should allow at least the women and children to seek refuge across the border. The men must stay back in Gaza because if the men also seek refuge in other countries, then Israel would have conquered Gaza and occupied it as their, another part of Israel.